Hiya, uh, Chris here for Bush Kids, and I thought today I'm just doing a quick video, a, a real time, one shot, uh, see how this works, uh, if we can produce a May whistle or a slide whistle. Now these, I've used a willow for this one, um, and the, the idea behind it is this time of year, so spring, uh, so we're spring in the UK, uh, the sap is rising. Um, so the, the trees have been dormant over winter and they're just bursting into life. They're pumping all this uh, the, the fluid up to the, the extremities, up to the branches. Um, and there's so much moisture within them uh, that it's really easy to remove oh, the bark. And by removing the bark, we can carve out a very simple willow shape. So you can see we've got a straight cut down here. A large section removed for the sound chamber and then a flat cut that's where the air uh, blows through in the whistle um, and just by removing the bark carving the inside very carefully sliding it back on making sure not to rip the bark we produce a whistle so I've selected a piece of willow, actually the, the whistle I've just made came off the end here, so this piece is pretty good. Um, what we're looking out for is very few sort of growth nodes or little um, where the branches would start, because we want as clean a section of bark as possible. Um, I'm going to use what we've got, my little pocket knife, little Swiss Army knife, um, and the first cut I'm going to make before I do anything is about a thumb from the end, I'm going to do a slice, and that's where the, the sound is going to come out my whistle. So just a little rolling cut there, and now I'm going to cut a diagonal, like a 45, back towards. Now it's really important that the cut goes this way and not that way. For the whistle to work, we need to cut down towards the front of the whistle, or the mouthpiece. Let's see. I've just removed a little, see that, a little slotted V section. Now, you may have heard the saying, as clean as a whistle, it's really important when we make these cuts that they are really clean. Get rid of any little fuzzies. Okay, so that's our start. Next, we want to remove some of the, the bark. Um, and I'm going to go all the way down to this sort of next growth node so we can make that out and I'm going to just do a ring cut very carefully so through the thickness of the bark all the way around so it meets all the way around try and get that as neat as possible because this is the section of bark that I want to take off um, now I use willow other people use sycamore quite successfully um, because I've got tons of willow around me, uh, so it's really easy. If you're looking for um, the trees to do this, willow uh, grows right next to uh, water sources or nearby water. These are long, thin, uh, lanceolate leaves. Well, this type of willow does. Um, I mean, goat willow has sort of shorter, fatter uh, looking leaves. Um, but the great thing about willow is because taking, taking a piece off isn't going to harm the tree. Um, they, they cope really well. Uh, losing limbs and they will grow back I mean we on site here we have big limbs fall down completely disconnected from the tree they'll lie in the grass they'll reroot and they'll come back to life again so it's a great great tree for tools so see, I've made that ring cut let's see can you see make that out so just here I've gone all the way around the bark now I want to remove the bark if there is tons of sap, I might just be able to that, twist that off. Not quite ready yet, so I'm going to get myself a little baton and very gently tap the bark. And it's really important we do this gently because I don't want to damage the bark, because that might put holes in it and then the whistle won't work. 
And actually a technique I just experimented with on the practice one was using a branch as a bit of a rolling pin. So what I'm trying to do is just break the, uh, the layer that's connecting the stick part of the branch uh, to the bark. Now I'd, I'd recommend doing a little bit in trying it, doing a little bit in trying, because like I say we want to preserve the bark as much as possible and of course the more I hit it the more likely I am to damage that bark. So I'm just systematically working my way up and down the bark, give it a little, oh this is going to be a tough one, I'm going to try that rolling pin technique, give it a little bit more pressure. There we go, you heard that little snap. And now, I should be able to remove the bark in one sheet. Now, very important we don't lose this. This is the, uh, this is the bulk of our whistle. So now to make the, the remainder of the cuts. First thing I'm gonna do is increase the size of this area to make, to make the sound chamber. So our first slice becomes our stop cut. And we're gonna safely cut towards it, removing a little bit of material each time. Really important we start this off quite uh, quite gently. If I push too hard, I risk cutting the end, this mouthpiece section off, which would mean the whistle wouldn't work. So what have I done? I've gone I've gone down maybe a, a quarter's depth, I might go a little bit more. Of course, if you go too far, you'll start hitting the pith inside the, uh, uh, the branch, which can affect the sound. I like to have nice, clean, smooth areas. There we go, see how that looks. A couple of little rolling cuts there, just to remove the last little, little bits. We've got now a nice large area there. Now to remove um, the sort of the mouthpiece where the air is going to flow in. Now what I like to do is remove a little bit more right at the tip, and then less towards uh, the end, because we can always remove more from this section. If we cut too deep, uh, we we end up ruining the whistle. So I'm going to do a little slice. So creating a flat shelf on the top there and what I'm going to do now is just clean up some fuzzies pop it back in and give it a go oh I heard a rip there that's not good let's try that all right there you have it a couple of quick clean cuts um, a good sap filled piece of willow and you have a uh, a main whistle, a slide whistle. Um, please have a go, uh, share your results, let us know how you get on. We love hearing from you, uh, letting, uh, letting us know how you get on with these challenges. Um, uh, this, is, this is a nice fun one, as you see it's fairly quick, uh, give it a go, you find a branch of willow, if you mess up one, you've still got plenty more uh, attempts to go. So uh, yeah, I was Chris for Bush Kids and this was a May slide whistle. Cheers guys!